are you? What are you doing? Stay back or I'll jump. You aren't the first person to try and persuade me. Easy. That is a long way down, even for me. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters anymore. A scorpion took my husband's life. There's nothing left for me now. You could find the scorpion that killed him and kill it. <laughs> are you mocking me or trying to be cruel? Hey, even bitter laughter is better than death. Hey, why don't you step away from the ledge, huh? We can talk. I don't know what to say. Tell me of your husband. We used to come up here to watch the herons. Two of them built a nest together in that tree. We watched them bring fish for their young. We dreamed of our own children. And you are sad because you did not have any. You're not very good at this, Magi. You're not making me feel any better. There is no way to make you feel better. There is only tomorrow. And then the next day. One moment at a time. What you say is true. I just don't think I can face it. I want to show you something. I will return soon. Hey, try not to jump. There were some herons nearby, down by that tree. I've got what I need. I should give the feather to the girl. Careful, it's steep. Now you are worrying about heights? I've got something for you. This is for you. A heron feather? Why? It is a C1 ritual. Feathers mean a lot to us. Anubis will weigh all our hearts when we die against Ma'at's white feather. Yours, mine, our loved ones. I know what you're doing. This feather is for my afterlife. Your husband will meet you in the field of reeds when it is time. But it is not a place to rush to. He would want you to live now and be happy. Yes, you're right. He would. I should thank you for this gift. You can thank me by showing me the way down. All right, Magi, you win. This way. I'm sorry. I must seem childish to you. Ah, believe me. No. I understand your grief. That's why you knew what to say, isn't it? Did you lose someone too? Many have lost loved ones to the Ptolemies. Does it get better? It gets better. But you will never be the same. Yes, I already know that. What is your name? I am Tua'a. I am not from here. I come from Crocodilopolis. I am Bayek, from Siwa. What are you doing in Soknopayo Nessos? You're from Siwa? I can tell. You're so nice. Your people are kind. I didn't want to waste my life sewing and weaving for my father. Then, I met my husband and we eloped. We didn't have much, but we were happy here. You could return to your family. They will miss you. You could be happy again. I can't go back to sewing carpets. Besides, my father will never look me in the face again. 
Few fathers would turn away the child they thought they had lost. Leopards! Bayek! Stay back. <laughs> Sobek, I thought we were dead. Are you hurt? No, but that was terrifying. Death isn't so desirable when you really see it. I guess I do want to live. <laughs> now she wants to live. <laughs> hey, that is good. But we should move before hyenas come for the carcasses. Could you take me to the docks? You have decided where to go then? I'll find that scorpion that killed my husband. <laughs> No, I think I know what to do. I'll head south, maybe even back to Propodilopolis. I've always wanted to work at the theater. This place has too many memories for me. Do not forget your family. Your father will miss you, whatever you think. Here we are. Will you be okay? Thank you, Bayek. I will keep this feather and weigh it against my heart. Go do your hero work. Be safe, Dua'a. <laughs>